eye on health, more and more people turn to Botox to help them erase wrinkles. Now, Botox is helping doctors dry up an embarrassing problem. Here's Sue Nigra. Well, Jack and Liz, we're talking about a condition where patients just cannot stop sweating. You're about to meet a young woman who found hope through a local doctor. She's in her early 20s. She's a student, a waitress. But this young woman, we'll call Anne, is also a victim of something called hyperhidrosis. It's sweats to the point where you see it in every shirt, just about. You know, and it's just really embarrassing for me. And it, there's nothing I can do to control it. People with hyperhidrosis suffer from excessive sweating. It can strike the forehead, under the arms, the palms of the hands, or the soles of the feet. The condition is believed to affect 1% of the population. If it's freezing outside, if it's 30 below zero, I'll sweat. And hope she'll stop that sweat with Botox, the weakened form of the food poisoning toxin that causes botulism. She's come here to the Williams Rejuva Center in Latham to have Botox injected into her armpits. Uh, the way the Botox plays into the hyperhidrosis is that, that it blocks the way that the nerves speak to the sweat glands to make the excessive sweating. A topical agent is used to numb the area, and then with blue dots leading the way, the injections begin. I just cheat. What I do is I pinch you so you can't feel the needle, see? That's In a matter bad. of minutes, it's done. So did it hurt? Uh, I didn't really feel it at all. Only a couple, a little bit, just like a little pinch. It will take a day or so before the Botox kicks in. On average, the effect will last about eight or nine months. The first visit has cost Anne $1,500. It's a little bit high, but you know, it's worth it if it's going to help me out in, in the end, especially with such a problem I have had for such a long time. Well, I talked to Ann today. She tells me so far so good. She isn't sweating at all like she used to, and she seems very happy. Dr. Williams says he's treated a handful of patients with this technique. He says the only downside, it's expensive, and in most cases, insurance won't cover it. For more information, you can go to cbs6albany.com, go to news, and then click on help.